Hello everyone. This is Dipit and welcome to No Arrow. Today we are going to learn about RTI license which is Radio Telephony Restricted License. Well, it is a mandatory license to use aeronautical communications. We will discuss about it in detail. So, make sure that you watch the video till end. And if you are new to our channel then subscribe to it and press the bell icon to get more video updates. So the very first question comes is what is RTR? RTR is radio telephonic communication or speech. Radio telephony provides the means by which pilots and ground personnel communicate with each other. Now radio communication is used widely all over the world by marine, navy, army and also in aviation. In this video we will talk about RTR A where A stands for aeromobile. Before we talk about the contents of examination, we should understand the importance of proper skills to get RTRA license. First and foremost is to communicate efficiently with ATC as per globally set uniform standards. Reduce radio occupancy time, which enables ATC to manage air traffic more effectively. To react in appropriate manner while aircraft or its occupants, person on board are in emergency stress or urgency to understand the importance of positive communication with atc and procedures to be followed during radio communication failure etc now what is in rtr a exam in india this exam is conducted by the wpc wireless planning and coordination wing of the ministry of communication government of india to assess the aviation aspirants on effective communication skills regarding ATC calls or communication with other aircrafts. The purpose of this exam is to evaluate efficiency in communicating with ATC with reduced radio occupancy time and procedures to be followed at time of emergency, distress or urgency. RTRA exam is conducted in two parts known as part 1 and part 2. RTRA part 1 is transmission. RTRA Part 2 is VIVA which basically covers regulation and RT procedures. This RT license is a must for pilots and AME especially B2 engineers. DGC does not issue AME license if candidate is not having a RTR license. The exam is conducted every two months in a year at six centers which are New Delhi two times, Mumbai, Chennai, Hyderabad, and Kolkata. The exam fees is INR 500. To be eligible for this exam, you need to be at least 18 years old with PCM in 10 plus 2. Apart from this, there are no eligibility criteria for the exam. We need to fill the application form with applicable documents and submit it to the specified address within specific period of time. Now, we shall discuss the part 1 and part 2 examination in detail. Part 1 which is transmission. Here candidate will be allotted a question paper consisting of 5 questions. You need to answer the questions based on various situations that can arise during aircraft handling. It consists of total 100 marks and the time allotted is 25 minutes. Therefore each question carries 20 marks. The examiner acts as ATC. You have to also write down the transmission and ATC response on logbook provided. So it is basically a multitasking exam and the real challenge is to write down the reply in proper format. The passing marks to clear part 1 is minimum 50 marks and the result for part 1 is declared on the same day shortly after the exam. Clearing part 1 enables the candidate to appear for the part 2. Part 2 is VIVA which is based on the regulations, procedure and knowledge. There may be either two or three examiners in which one of them will be from DGCA and the others will be from WPC. The WPC examiner will ask questions related to the radio procedures and regulations, phonetics, alphabets, phrasologies, 
whereas the dgc examiner may also ask questions from radio communications and navigation equipments and systems such as hf and vhf communications bor adf dme etc the examiner shall not ask more than 3 to 4 questions and the passing marks to clear part 2 is also 50 marks Upon clearing part 2, the result is declared on the WPC website and the candidates can apply for their license. The license fees is INR 5000 with a validity of 20 years and 10,000 for lifetime issuance. So, I hope that you find this video very informative. Share it with your friends and colleagues. Also, do hit the like button and subscribe to our channel for more videos like this.